Okay. So we'll do this, and then after this procedure, we'll put her under a red light, which is low-level laser therapy. That also stimulates the hair growth. So she'll get a 20-minute session of that after this. So this procedure has really no downtime, great results. Um, people always ask me, well, how many times do I have to do it? It varies from person to person. Some people, they just need it once if they're going through a lot of stress and their hair is falling out and they just want something to stop that shedding and to get it back growing, we'll just do it once. Some people, they have chronic hair issues, so I might say let's do it twice a year, three times a year. It's all very variable. So we just kind of... Depends on the patient. Okay, so if it's already gone, it's gone? Or Depen I mean, well, I, you have to look and see. I mean, a lot of times under, uh, right, under a microscope, it's not so much that the hair is gone, it's just really, really, really fine because that follicle is very sick. So by using it, by doing this kind of growth stimulation, we can get that follicle healthier and the hair will be thicker that comes out of it. Is it true that you're supposed to wash your hair every day? No. no. At least okay. every other. Every other? Okay. Yeah, you don't want the oil to drop. Right, because that kills. Oh, okay. great. So, <clears throat> this is the growth protein. It's her, her own stuff. We're not using anything, you know, from an animal or anything like that. So, we'll just give her a series of injections throughout her scalp. And I'm going to really um, target the areas that are thinning for her. Does that help with people who have been through like radiation or like thi have thyroid disease? Thyroid disease? Yeah. Radiation, it depends on where the radiation was. I mean, if you have radiation to your scalp, no. If you have radiation somewhere else or chemotherapy, you know, like for a lot of our women who have breast cancer and they've had chemo, radiation, this is a great way very natural, we're not introducing any chemicals into the body or anything like that, just to get the hair regrowing. This in combination with that low level um, laser therapy, the red light, that really stimulates the hair growth. So patients are really happy. And we have um, a rep here who has the Viviscal vitamins. That's really great for, you know, if you've got mild thinning, thinning along your hairline, you want to slow it down. Those vitamins are really great. They're very gentle. You know, a lot of women take um, biotin and they complain about them being really, it really upsets your stomach. This one's really gentle on your stomach, very easily tolerated. So, and the results are great. There's science behind it. It's been studied in the journals. Lots of dermatologists have done studies in their practices with patients and it's been shown effective. So, um, pretty cheap and easy way to get your hair back. Okay, so is the vitamin something new? No, actually that you, vitamin's you, been out for a couple years now. This is a stronger formulation. Okay. Um, and it's, it's really you quite know, helpful. We definitely recommend that as part of our regimen with, with our hair restoration patients. Um, yeah, try to combine the therapies so you can get your hair on the Oh, okay. And you know, like with everything in life, you know, you get started on it, and then a few months later, you kind of fall off the wagon, and that's fine, you know. But um, even if you don't take the vitamins every day for the rest of your life, you know, if you take them two or three times a week after that first, after you first get it in, at least it's doing something, you know. Is there any way to check the polyphenols that are lying here? Oh yeah, we can do scalp, I can do a scalp bi biopsy and we send it to a dermatopathologist to look at the follicles, especially if someone has um, a type of hair loss that looks like it might be inflammatory, like a certain type of alopecia, we can look and at it under the microscope and see what's going on. Um, we also can do um, microscopic photographs so we can look at the follicles. Is that a part of the consultation process for figuring out which line to go down, or is that a separate right. treatment? No, no, no. Yeah. It's all part of it. It's all complementary. I mean, we have to figure out why you're losing your hair. You know, especially if it's not in a normal pattern. For most women, most women will maintain their hairline, but then be thin from about here to here, okay? We're thin along the part. So that's where we, you know, we target the treatment. 
Um, if you have a pattern that's different from that, then that makes me suspicious. And then I'm going to start investigating other reasons, like do you have an autoimmune condition or something like that that's causing the hair to, to come out.